All right, so we're having another fun day. And look at these vehicles. They're so nice, but we're not going to use those. We are going to use these vehicles for the fun day. So we'll go ahead and get on the dirt bike and we'll, we'll get it started. So download some new mods and you can see in the distance what it might be. So we'll just go ahead and see, see what it does and see how far we get. This is our first vehicle, the dirt bike. Pretty high up there. We're we gonna land. What should we use next? Go ahead and use ours as the R. Ooh, this one goes quick. Enough if we're going to be able to control it. Ooh, it's sorry, topped out. It's not going to be fun. Going crazy spins. Can you miss? Oh, you can see the dirt bike. We didn't go that far. So let's go ahead and uh, try the ninja. Damn, threw it. A pretty quick one too. But how far will we be able to go? Cannon speed. 100 miles an hour. 125. 134. 136. We're topped out. And we're doing all kinds of flips. And we're way further than what we did the other two. No mobile. I think this is going to go the farthest. We're over 120. Ooh. Flipping. Dang. Need to hurry up and try and get it in line, but every time I turn it, it jerks. Like one of those where you gotta line it up. And we'll just, once we get. We'll just go from here. Oh, we're doing a 360 in the air. 
holy more tumbling. I bet you if we got a little bit more speed than what we had, we would have done it. We'll go and get this monstrous a truck. We'll go ahead and do the bites. How cool is that? I wish it got accelerated a little faster. But maybe it'll go the furthest. Who knows? 70, 80, 90, 100. Oh, we're already maxed out. See which one this does. See what it does. Ooh. We got 360 in a turn and we're flopping. So obviously these vehicles go pretty far. So we'll go ahead and we'll see which one landed further. I'm pretty sure this snowmobile did by just a little bit. Yep. All right, guys. We have I have something planned, and we have two different vehicles. One of them, I made some adjustments for the script, but I will show you that they are. The same exact vehicle, the only difference is, is I changed one thing, and probably, oh, I missed, yep, went to the wrong bay, but they are maxed out, tuned, but the changes I've made, you won't be able to tell until I show you exactly what I did, so both of them will be 500. 700 horsepower 160 the engine set up both of both are the same so I'll go ahead and in the other truck after I move this out of the way to show you and we'll go ahead and park it right here it somewhat lined up with the ramp. And we got this black one. So as you can see, this is the same 700 horsepower, 160 miles per hour. And yes, I went ahead and removed all the prices. Just because that's what I do. So... This is pretty nice for the most part. Looks almost the right way it would in real life. But cool. So we'll go ahead and get the great one. Now we'll try it. Try the lights again. Okay. However, they are just for looks. They don't work. It'd be really nice if they did. But, you know, a modder will make what they want. And they'll have it set up the way they want. I'm not sure how much of the issue. How, I'm sorry. Not sure how much detail it takes. I am not a modder. I will probably never be one. 
I will adjust certain things from other people but ultimately I will always give the modder his credit their time their work and I don't want to take away from them so I'll get out flip it place it back down so there so as you can see we didn't go too far maybe uh what I'll do is I'll do like a uh, checkboard squares so that we can actually know the distance how much they travel but this is just kind of a Best area that I created real quick. Go ahead with the black one. But yeah, if we do the the whole, uh, if I do the whole squares, then we'll be able to set, do a distance. Maybe we'll try and see if we can make one that goes, that'll hold a record or something. And we're doing flips and all this crazy stuff. And we can go, ooh, we're so close to getting off the map, hitting the end of the map. Go. So obviously this black one is the modded truck that I did. And the only thing I did was besides removing the prices is removing weight. I removed 8,000 pounds of weight. So as you can see, I can make turns a lot quicker, a lot more choppy, pinouts are easier. So we might, I don't know, I think we can get, I think we can um, accelerate a little bit faster. I don't know, we topped out when we got back, got back, so, not too far from it, but, but as you can see, as I turn, I'm losing speed, whereas the other one, I wasn't, so, that's how the mass affects the vehicle so I think we're getting pretty close to hitting 180 so obviously that makes a difference so if you want to make your vehicles go faster turn faster such like that you can go in to the mods and change them if you're on call if you're on console you won't be able to but I will show you how I did it all right so we are looking at my desktop I like to keep everything pretty simple clean and everything so all the mods that I like to uh, change I'll go ahead and put it in a separate folder as you can see I have some finished ones um, that I've already done I go ahead and I use my initials and then the normal file and then depending on what I do to it um, I'll name it so like the truck that you just seen actually in farming simulator I named it ultra light because I removed 
weight from it. And then all these other ones, Beats or Speedy, is I just allowed it to go faster. And then my trailer, my famous trailer, I love using it. Uh, I just call it Ultra. I probably shouldn't, but um, that way, bulk, deep. Uh, every all the prices are removed so we'll go ahead and come back go ahead and what you'll need to do is these are all zip files so you'll need to extract them you you can use the normal uh, in in Windows uh, I just like to use WinRare so I'll go ahead and extract it. Won't take long. Uh, well, it's okay. So it's all done. We are gonna want to go to the XML file. So you can open it up with Notepad, WordPad. Both of them work. I like to use Notepad++, and as you can see, everything is pretty much laid out. I think uh, we are doing the Lamborghini Adventor LP750-4, and then we'll put light. So we're going to change. Uh, how the mass so you're going to want to do that in the name right here and then what you'll do is really right right here you're going to see the mass so it is pretty light normally it's most vehicles around Seven to eight thousand. So we'll go ahead change the mass five hundred. So we may or may not be able to see too much of a difference, but possibly. So what I do then is I will hit Control F. And that comes up with the find window. So we'll go ahead and hit find next. So you can see the default field price is already set to zero. Go to the next one. And you see it at four. Forty-five thousand dollars. Take it down, bro. That's it. So I am thinking right here is where we are going to what we could do to make it. This tells you how much how how your uh, vehicle changes. So, I'm wondering. Hour. Miles per hour. So, we're in 20. 
the 190A. So any any measurement is gonna be met metric. So let's see. Change this. So let's So we'll put this at 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 one thousand six hundred and acts words thousand six hundred and we will see what that does. I have no idea what it's gonna do, but let's try it. So you go to save and exit. I was doing some other stuff, uh, testing out, seeing uh, about some other stuff. Now you're gonna go want to go into my description and want to open it up notepad or notepad plus however you want to so we are going to go to the title right so this go so in the game it will come up with that name that's why you do it uh, if not, it's going to show up weird. So we'll go ahead and save. Save. We'll exit out. So what we'll do is how I do it pretty easy. I'll go ahead and act like I'm going to game. Go ahead and make sure you get all these. Oops. I apologize. Are gonna go crazy. But that's what the car looks like. So we'll go ahead, go to send to, compress the zipped folder. It typically comes up with the last thing. So we'll go ahead and go to paste. Go underline, and I'll put light. At the beginning, I'll put my initial. That way, I can find all the all these files. Yeah. Sure. That's it. That actually is something I've been doing. But okay, you can take both of these, put a copy, and then I have the straight up regular versions. 
So my mod for the game, my mod folder is in document, my games, Army Sim 19, and here's my mod folder. Place them in there. And see I have a lot. So you can see that I just did that one earlier today. Get right there. So we can go into the game. All right, so we are back in the game, and you'll go to mods. Go over, and as you can see, because I never had this that mod installed, you're gonna see the original file, and you'll see the one that we made the modifications to. So that is the first step because it's in there doesn't always mean that it's there. So we're going to go into our step game. If you happen to do a new game, it'll pro it's usually already automatically checked. And because I have a lot of mods here. It can be quite challenging and confusing. The you want, and usually, whatever their name is, that's pretty close to where they're gonna be. So, You will have to keep going. So, as you can see, right there, and right there, go ahead and go into the game. Hopefully, it hasn't been taking too long here lately, so, yeah, I've been starting to make some other stuff, but we can go and go to the cars area and we should so as you can see this one is our light one and there's not much that many mod mod chain Uh, maybe it's just a, maybe I didn't uh, do something, forgot to edit something, a description for the thing, so hopefully, we'll, uh, find the other version. So we will have to remember the first vehicle, that one is the one that we changed. So you can see those are the trucks from earlier. We'll get to that uh, 
racetrack area our starting area wow that was a pretty cool burnout or maybe did I get them mixed up we will not know So it's slowly going up. One thirty, forty, fifty, about one sixty. We hit about 160 at the top of the ramp. Hopefully we can get faster. I don't think so. It's gonna be close. About 160. That's got to be the normal car right here. Pretty sure it is. I'm gonna have to. Well, here's the easy way of doing it. Crotch. We will tell that. So this is where we ended up with the un unmodded vehicle. This is how much further are we dead. All right, let's just take a little break and talk about something real quick. Hit the like button. That tells me that lets me know like these. Making them like that. Dislike button. That tells me you don't like what I'm doing. I need to change it or make it better. Hit the subscribe button. That will tell me, let you know whenever I make a new video. And as always, be safe and play some farming sim the way you want to play.